in room 21 integrated IBL flight and machines with visual art. We studied two amazing artists. In 1488, the polymath Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci was the first man to design a flying machine. He was inspired by how birds fly. <coughs> the New Zealand artist John Benny was also inspired by birds. We were inspired by how John Benny's bird painting. We created a book and converted it into a movie to share. Before this, we would like to perform a song and dance with our environmental message. <coughs> birds need oxygen, just like us. Birds need unpolluted clean air, just like us. Birds need unpolluted fresh water, just like us. Birds need destroyed habitat. Birds need trees, not destroyed habitats, just like us. Our flying feathered friends need to be appreciated and saved from extinction.
Black and white with a bright red chin, silhouetted against the purple and blue, darting through the clouds, wide wings spread apart, swooping gracefully down and skimming the sea, with black beady eyes searching far across the horizon. Soars and flies swiftly through the blue sky, swoops and dives down to find food. Across the treetops, diving in and out of branches, the slew beak eating red berries, perching on a grey green tree. The sun fading away draws the dark night in. Standing still before the green grassy hills is the beautiful brown weka, wandering wildly to the edge of a forest, looking for food. Standing still. Flash of dark grey, she flies to get nectar by swooping, swaying and swaying up and down the forest. She lands straight with proud posture perched on a bright branch near the sea. Big beautiful bendy wings folded back sitting on a line. Brown beady eyes waiting to be seen. Blue elegant feathers, highlighted green head. A pointy beak and a long curvy tail. A shady shivering shadow, a night's delight. Wings high flight above the beautiful brown and green hills. She has bright silvery red eyes just like the silvery moon shining on her. The blue sky rises as the moon sinks and the wool pork's movie sails home after her night journey. Poised on a Puhujaka tree, sing his favourite song. Right from tree to tree, drinking and finding nectar with joy. Skittering and scattering across and above the garden ground, he darts so elegantly across the river to the safety of the trees. Like a flash of orange lightning, the concentric spot of pink dove swoops, skims and sways. She dives and then she plays over the endangered kauri trees. Smoothly perches on the treetops, her bendy curious neck searches and scans the shore, lurching off the silvery shiny bough, gliding high over the turquoise sea. The dark night sky is blue as the sky in a painting, surrounds his striking red and green head. His bright green blue body stretches upwards, swooping across the curving islands and gliding like an asteroid falling from space. A very fat bird gliding in the sky peacefully and slowly. He doesn't make a single sound. He swoops side to side across the beautiful lake. Black wings, yellow head, white body, wide wingspan. In the darkening sky, the golden rise of sun fall. Stretching his wings above the swaying sea, he flies close to his island with the cold breeze. A flash and a dash, a splash and a splosh. A dark blue green shadow soars, then swoops. An attack from the sky, the king for her dives for its prey. Its small straight beak goes splat into the water. It grabs and squeezes the fish until it is limp and dead. Intensively, this marvelous bird cuts through the vast blue sky. The sun's rays reflect on the spotted shag. The greeny gold of her wings glistens and glows in the dark. Accurately flying the clouds, eager to get home before the rain rolls in. She makes it as the clouds part, then rests. The white face blows as it glows down to rest from the cold breeze. He shakes his outstretched wings as if he has been in the deep blue sea. The sound of an angry war shakes and towers over the forest. The sleeping silence breaks as the mystic battle begins. Blue grey feathers float to the ground. A swoop, a sway and a swerve, gliding through the sky to the land. He dives the fish in the sea and sails straight to the shore. He lands on a rock to perch and dries his dripping body. He shakes his stretches out his wings and searches for fish again. Fluttering and flying so fast, just like the speed of light. When dodging clouds high in the sky, she swoops down to land, foiling through brown, curling hills. Darting for insects, her fan tail rises and in and around tramp is in the dark green bush. 
purple, blue and grey speckles shimmer through the sky. Undulating and swooping and the crescent wind. Finding food in mellow trees growing so high. Tumbling down when she spots a sun hot blood red berry. Perched as eating petrified berries. Gobbling as fast as a bolt of lightning. Then rises. The wind lifts her away. Wings wide he soars above then suddenly dives. His greeny brown red feathers shine dimly in the evening sky. He swoops down from his perch high in the treetops and then glides swiftly but gracefully along the forest floor. Hovering over the hills, her white wings spread, the symbol of peace glides away. She perches herself on a leafless branch. Her black beady eyes search the land. She notices danger as she searches for food. She dives down to the damp earth, then sails away peacefully. Black and white magnificence, brilliant black bill. Long pink legs, perfect pure beauty, defiantly flying through the rippled air, leaving a trail of wind behind. Your reflection of beauty lies across a cobalt blue lake. The wind swells and the first flap of your dark wings lifts you up and you are gone. Standing silently on a strong twig, excited and spying for a feast, while the greeny yellow sand curves around. Brown, black, yellow and white flickering happily. Suddenly he dives down deep into the ground. He pulls up his dinner while the water circles around. Gliding near the white satin breakers, soaring over the avocado cliffs. Heading towards his green island home, he shoves a frolic and waves, then undulates up, 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 and then parachutes down, down, down. Gliding gracefully over the water, your wings skimming over the top of the hills. Your white crest flashing as white as the winter snow, and your striking silhouette moves against the orange-gold sunset. By peppermint and emerald green hills, frozen as ice in her nest, her grey tail is a spiky sharp arrow. Pointing up to the velvet pink sky, she is sinking and melting from the orange sun all alone by the sea. The sun shines brightly, gazing on your pearly red feathers. You wear a deep dark black jacket with strong white straps, brown eyes brilliant. You perch up high, looking at the blue diamond sea. Undulating in the mist, the frolicking black green tui swoops and swishes and soars above the landscape. Her feathers lunge forward, touching the shimmering sky. Tall, tranquil trees perch so high, as the fluff of her neck sways and tangles in the mist.